This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Make sure to check out this brand new free offer for my viewers. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know that inflation is killing our retirements, dead. The real rate of inflation? Well, it just won't let you keep up or make a profit. You need a different approach. Precious metals, not Robinhood or stocks that can crash and leave you losing money. An IRA or a 401k with Noble Gold is the answer. And this month, Noble Gold is gifting a genuine, rare Carson City minted Morgan Silver dollar with every qualifying IRA or 401k. You can find out more by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment, or by just going to noblegoldinvestments.com. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. You know, we keep talking about Europe. Why don't we talk about Michigan? Uh, cases were up 82% in the last two weeks. 13 days ago, they eased restrictions. Even with the case jump, restaurants, bars, theaters, gyms, and more. Adjusted for population, they have the most confirmed cases of the UK variant. And look again, I'm calling it the UK variant because that's where we be believe the origin is. I'm not blaming the UK for it, okay? This is a very different play than Trump made by calling something the China <clears throat> virus. It comes from China. And look, again, I'm calling it the UK variant because that's where we be believe the origin is. As someone who's been a media watchdog going back to the George W. Bush administration, I can tell you that the media's insistence that they're not hypocrites because it's different when they do it is the only consistent standard that they have. Welcome back, everyone. This is Drone Tech Politics, and if you enjoy this content, show your support by hitting that like button, subscribing, and as we all know, you got to hit that bell icon if you want any hope at all of getting notifications. Back to Cuomo, he claims he's not a racist for calling the coronavirus variant the UK variant along with the rest of the media and this shouldn't surprise anyone really because as we all know they've convinced themselves that it's impossible to be racist to the people of no color. Don't forget it was Chris Cuomo's corrupt overstuffed bratwurst brother Andrew Cuomo that insisted on calling it the European virus which was never once called racist by the usual suspects and we all know why. Chris Cuomo claims that it's different when he calls it the UK variant because he's not blaming the UK suggesting that when Trump or anyone else called it the <laughs> virus, they were doing so to blame China. First of all, that's utter revisionist history. Any time that Trump called it the <laughs> virus, he always followed it up by saying it comes from China. Yet somehow when Chris Cuomo or some other member of the media says that the variant comes from the UK, that's different because it's different when they do it. It's also worth pointing out in that classic exchange between Trump and who I think is Weijia Zhang, where she trots out the completely baseless claim that Asian Americans have been targeted due to calling it the <laughs> virus. They also want people thinking that these attacks on Asian Americans are being done by Trump supporters of no color. There's actually zero proof of that. They just keep repeating it over and over to burn it into the minds of every American. When in fact, the majority of these attacks are being committed by people of color in Democrat-run cities. In regards to blaming the China label for attacks on Asian Americans, why don't they just blame any criticism of China for attacks on Asian Americans? Well, mark my words, because that's coming. But it does show their inconsistency and the fact that all of this is for political expediency. And by the way, when it does come to blaming for the coronavirus, there are actually many legitimate reasons to do so. China withheld crucial information from the World Health Organization as late as January 14th, claiming no human to human spread. If they hadn't done that, it's very possible we could have contained it better. So not only did it come from China, and by the way, we actually have confirmation from none other than CNN just five days ago. As we mark one year of the coronavirus pandemic in this country, questions remain over the origin of the virus. A new book reveals warnings from U.S. diplomats of risky experiments at a Wuhan lab in 2018. Even the Biden administration has said that they have deep concerns about the WHO uh, investigation that went to Wuhan uh, because of some conflicts of interest among the staff, but also because the Chinese government refused to put forth uh, the data that they would really need to figure it out, which means that we still don't know how the virus originated. And that's not just a issue of blame. That's an issue of tracing the origin in order to prevent the next pandemic, which the Biden administration is actually not disputing some of the Trump administration's claims about this very lab, namely that the researchers there got sick in November 2017 with COVID like symptoms and that they were involved in some uh, undisclosed research. All right, folks, that's all for this one. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.